According to the Gleaner, over 1.6 trillion was allotted to various government ministries, raising concerns about transparency and accountability. Joining us this morning via Zoom is the Jamaica Accountability Meter Portal Executive Director and Founder, Jeanette Calder. Hi, Jeanette. Morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning, Delia. And I am smiling, though you don't think I have something to smile about this morning. How you do? Listen, <laughs> like... we always have something. Jeanette, I said this, I said this figure like 10 times because when yeah. I read it, I read million. I'm sure you did. Then I yeah. said, wait a minute. Did they mean billion? Yeah. Trillion dollars? Yeah. New word. New sum for me. Yeah. But Dela, this is not new to me. It's new to you. But I've been paying attention to the Auditor General's reports since 2014. I don't know if you remember how many. Yeah, that yeah. is the report. Yeah, man. That's the report that got me interested in what we're about to talk about. For somebody who has been reading them for 10 years, this trillion is no new thing. I bless the gleaner, Edmund Campbell, who did his work, raised the bar, and is letting Jamaica know. But this no new Delia and this no new Simone. So let's just start by recognizing that. Oh. It's new to the country, but it's a good thing because the country needed to know the crisis that we've been in for quite a while now. All right, so so let's clarify for the viewers. We, we're yeah. talking about 1.6 trillion. Um, what is the context? Yeah. <laughs> well, the context is simple. It's, it's that you and I, for example, the last year, we hit a trillion dollar mark saying that this is the amount of money that will be taken from our pockets. That's really what it means. The extra vacation, the extra tutoring, the extra anything that we wanted over our families. We give it up to finance this machinery called the government. Why? Because they have to attend to certain needs that we have. It's a good thing. But after every four months, when a financial year ends, they need to come back to us and tell us what did you do with my money. Yeah. It's a very basic, simple principle. And the government institutes something like that. And who gets those reports? Our elected representatives, yes? Now, all this is saying is that for a number of years, just let's just take the one I have been looking at since last year, the Minister of Health. When we have that budget, folks, the first thing we take out of it is our debt. And just like individuals, we really need to pay the people we owe first. So we pay our debt. I'd ask you ladies to guess, do you know who gets the next biggest share of our budget? It would be the Ministry of Education. That's the next most important thing the people say, and I agree with the government. So they get the largest of our money next. And then the third is the Ministry of Health. So you can imagine, Dahlia, if I've shared that with you already, I'm betting you're having a different perspective already on what you've been told. Because of that trillion dollars of monies that have not been reported for how many years, two of the delinquent and two of the negligent ministries who for years have not been telling the parliament how they spend billions of dollars we give them is the Ministry of Health and is the Ministry of Education. That not make you feel better. When you say they so, haven't been, Jeanette, what do yeah. you mean? Because don't we have PAC right. holdings? Uh, yeah, and we have yeah. Absolutely. So I was so happy and excited that the segment before me was what it was, because it even gave me more reason to smile. We have a young lady, Annabelle, who wants to be a permanent secretary. That person is the key to the problem that we're having. The permanent secretary needs to make sure that after four months when the year end, she sends her report to parliament to say, what have we done with the people's money? All right. When that don't happen, Delia, who's supposed to come and say, what are going on? The people who get the report. Yes. Who are those? Our parliamentarians. Who did whose salary did we double last year? Anybody remember? Anybody who remember? We missed. The parliamentarians. Yes. 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 So we have parliamentarians, for example, the Ministry of Health, for 10 years has not told our parliamentarians, told our auditor general what they have done with our money. How much money we're we talking about? Just a little bit under seven hundred billion dollars, and that is a report that they have gotten every year for the last ten years till it add up to seven hundred and seven hundred billion dollars. What is the work our parliamentarians are doing for us? That is really the question I have this well, morning. I have another question for yeah? you, right? 
So who keeps the gate? Who holds yes. the gatekeepers? Who is gatekeeping that, the gatekeepers? Who is holding? I'm so happy for the that. Accountability. Yeah. The accountable. Accountable. The parliamentarians and people say it a lot, um, Simone, that the citizens are the gatekeepers. Ah, look at that. So this organization that I, I'm, I'm running and I founded, you might want to think that our focus is on the politician. It is not. I keep our politicians in my peripheral view because decisions are made every day in the parliament for me. So that to me, I call that place a sacred space. But who is financing them? We are. Who is paying their salary? We are. But how many times have we gotten a chance to have this conversation we're having with them um, today, um, Delia and Simone? Never, only because there's a problem. So let me ask you this question because I've lived it before. I had a boss who it was a construction site because folks might not know this, I'm actually an architect by training, but he used to come in at three o'clock, go site from four in the morning, come in at three. How early you think the employees came in, um, Daly and Simone? You think they were there at 8.30 in the morning? Absolutely not. The cat so when was I came awake. and I saw it, absolutely, it's human nature. It's, it's human nature, Simone. So as I came to that office and I saw the problem, I didn't want to get into a fight. You knew, you know, Simi, so you want to kind of ease your way in, but this couldn't work. So I said to that developer, can you come to the office and have a meeting with me eight o'clock in the morning? And he thought it was a little odd, but he thought it must be important if I was asking, and he showed up. So guess what happened after that when people realized he could <laughs> pop up at any time? <laughs> I didn't have to say a word. Oh, so God. what I'm saying, Simone, is that you and I and Delia, we're about to go to some elections between now and 2025, and it's when we get there, we start to evaluate our employees. Something wrong with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So I started jump with my faith in the people of Jamaica, because I believe that the same thing that took me off my trajectory, eh? it now had nothing to do with political science, public administration, out of many happened, I said, no, no more of this. I started to seek two things. And I believe if we give this to the people of Jamaica, they'll begin to develop the same level of interest that I do. Not everybody, but enough people. What's that? How does the parliament of Jamaica work? The basics, folks. They make decisions there every day and we don't know how. And then the next thing is if we want to fix accountability, we need to understand Jamaica's accountability framework. Yes. Yeah. Who is the first person we call when something go wrong daily? I'll give you two guesses. Who in government we call? Who the news call? Who do we call for? The first time something goes wrong. The minister. minister. Gentle folks, there are right. seven. There, no, 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 Simone, that's the thing. There are 17 people in government with more teeth than a minister to and sanction and to hold yes. people to account. Yes. We don't know them things that they mm. So when these things go wrong, who we call? The political representative who in the law has the least amount of power to do something about sanctioning and holding people to account. Right. You understand what I'm saying, D? Uh, see, so until we begin today. to tell, the, uh, mm -hmm. that's the point, mm -hmm. Simone. And, and when I started to look at it, I said to myself, but what are that? That probably have not so big. Mm -hmm. It come in like a car. I bought a sports car. I loved it. It's 20 year old. My father said, Jeanette, where are you going with that? I said, I love it. Love it. The first time it broke down with me daily, I panic. But to cut the long story short, mm -hmm. would you know it was a small little teeny tiny thing in the engine? Big, massive, super duper engine, you know, but it was a small thing loose, but the whole engine popped down. Yeah. There's a small thing loose in the accountability chain. And it is in the Parliament of Jamaica. And if we can tighten it, guys, you're going to be amazed how the engine begins to run. Now, right. that's an exciting thing to come and tell you this morning. Yeah. So it bad, Delia. It bad, Simone. But just like Simone says on our show all the time, she brings faith and she brings hope. And unless the people of Jamaica begin to talk hope and faith, we can't a dark. Stop saying so this thing set. With Stop work. So then faith and hope. With, with words. Works. With, yeah. with works. So we that's the to message go. today. We have to go, Jeanette. We have to go. But um, wow. not a problem. Yeah, we went to see further. I mean, 
we're not accusing anybody of misappropriation. No, Hope to, Delia, yeah, we're talking yeah, about yeah, this yeah, morning. Let's know, begin to me, teach the people. Just a delay in reporting, but, mm. but yeah, man. reporting But a lot of mischief is happening in the know. meantime, Delia. Let's be clear on that. Okay. If you don't report, mischief takes place, and that's how we lose money to corruption. Let's right. be clear on that as well. Because right. people do what they can get away with. And if, there's if you're not reporting. Up, right. If you're gotcha. not reporting. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Janet. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for shedding some light on that for us. Shocking, but yeah. good to know. Education well, is the way forward, everybody. Jamaica Consultability Media Portal Executive Director and Founder, Jeanette Carter. Coming up, it's all about data protection. We've got that on the other side of this break. We'll be right back.